Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before Diesel, just setting up our 2019 Prado. So what we've done is obtained another set of wheels. These are off a 2017 GXL. Should be all the same offset and everything. I haven't checked, bit of an assumption, guesstimation. I'm pretty sure they look the same. What a 17, 7R, 25, positive 25. So yeah, should be all good. All we've done is got some wet and dry give them a bit of a rub back so not that you can see much just be really light something to hopefully make the paint stick i'm no expert painter just letting you know what we do, we're doing and you because you obviously might see the finish and you might go oh yeah i want that so at the moment we've yeah wet and dry to rub them back bit of a you know clean up just make sure everything's cleaned off them we're not too fussed about um the job because it's going to be sort of kind of like you know the off-road set of wheels and tires uh, we're using a dupli colour. We've got some, I'll show you the product we're going to use. So I cleaned them down with a bit of uh, thinners because that's what I had. So just to clean the surface so it's nice and clean. Pick the day when it's not windy. That's what we're using. So go ahead and give these a spray, see what they come up like, eh? Hey guys, uh, how good is that? I'll be honest, this is the first time I've painted a set of wheels and I am ultra impressed with it so far. I'm going to show you the product again. All right. I'm not saying it's the best product. I used it on the center caps. I've had wheels powder coated before, satin black also, which is what this color is. All right, satin black. I've powder coated wheels before and of course you can't powder coat the caps. Well, you probably can, but look. I just used this to, um, and that matched really well with the satin black powder coating. It was really durable on those caps. Um, so, you know what, I thought I'd give it a go. And so far, yeah, like I said, really impressed with that finish. Um, I'm not an expert painter or any good at all, but you gotta make sure it's all clean, obviously. A bit of wet and dry just lightly. So it's, I think it's to make it a bit sort of abrasive, like rough it up a bit so the paint sticks to it. Um, I think this is going to be fairly strong, you know, fairly tough paint. It does say wheel paint, so it's designed for it. Anyway, there's three done. We're about, I'm about halfway or a bit over halfway through this can. It is a little bit, it's not spraying that well. It's sort of in a little bit air. I keep giving it a shake. We've shaken the hell out of it. I don't know if they're all like that. I've got a couple other cans there. Um, they retail for about 20 bucks at Repco. I'm going to give Repco a plug on this one. Um, they did them for me for uh, 12 bucks each or something like that. So three cans, um, looks like will be plenty. I'm not going to obviously paint the inside here where the tyre goes, but I am going to turn them around with the leftover. If there's, I'm not too worried about behind. Like I said, I'm not too fast, but with if we've got leftover, we're going to paint inside there. So what you see through the spokes, because I know a lot of people, these young guys, you know, when they look at wheels and cars and they go crook when manufacturers only paint the outside and not the inside. I'm sort of, personally, I wouldn't be too fussed about that. It just gets dirty. You don't see it anyway. But some people that are pretty particular. So anyway, let's get on to the other two. Still on that first can. So officially, <clears throat> if you pick a day that's not windy and you've got some basic painting skills, remember on and off the trigger, you know, don't don't change direction on what you're painting. It's sweep across, you know, the ideally if you can sweep all the way across, and when you come off the edge of the product with your painting, you're off the trigger, then you change direction back on the trigger before it hits the product again and smooth sweeping motions, you know what I mean? That's the deal. It's a little bit harder with wheels. Like I said, I'm a bit sloppy. I'm just kind of like, you know, whatever, you know, kind of whatever. But you know, like I said, there's a light breeze. The biggest thing you can do is pick a, pick the right day. Just be patient. Because if it's windy, most of the product's gonna blow away, you know what I mean? So the other thing I reckon I've heard and been taught over the years, many light coats is better than one big thick coat. So I've tried not to go too heavy. <laughs> Obviously the first one, you know, I wanted to get the coverage. 
So now I'm just going to go over them all and just make sure I didn't miss any bits. Not that it matters because don't they look awesome for, okay, one can, 12 bucks. For 12 bucks, this has happened. So that's really awesome. I'm just going to go over them and do a few bits that I've missed. So I'll join on a little bit more information. Keep watching. All right, so from memory, the can says to do three coats within the first hour, at least 10 minutes apart or something along those lines. And then it says wait at least an hour in between for more coats. I'm not sure how many coats we need here. Um, look, we've gone through one can so far, okay? So the second coat, right, it's just going empty now. Obviously, it was a bit splattery toward the end. Uh, let's get the breezes starting to pick up a little bit here. So I think I might start the next can, do one more coat. That's all done within the hour. And I think that might be it for me because I'm not too fussed about it. It looks damn good. And at the end of the day, because of the system we've used, we're just going to be able to do touch-ups on the car if necessary, even while the wheels are on the car or we'll take the wheels off. You know, you can do, you don't have to strip your tyres off. You can do the stick the cards in between the rubber and the wheel thing. If you don't know about that, just um, have a Google on, you know, uh, YouTube, whatever. People do that. You know, you just get a cheap set of playing cards, whatever, and just jam in between the rubber and the rim. That protects the tyre a bit. But if you've got your white riding on the inside, a little bit of paint on the tyre is not going to hurt. And I'd suggest it's probably going to flake off anyway. So anyway, this is what we're doing. One can so far, that's given us two coats. That'd probably do. But I'm going to get into the second can, do a third coat. Once that's touched dry, which seems to be happening within 10 minutes, um, we're going to get in, see in behind the wheel there. We're going to get in behind there and just, uh, not to do a magic job or anything, but from the other side, and we're mainly going to paint what you can see from there on those angles. So we're not going to worry about behind the spokes. Waste of paint. Borderline waste of paint what I'm about to do on the other side, but at, at 12 bucks a can, doesn't really matter. I've got three for the job. So I'm going to have spare there. Happy days. And if you want to see that product again, bada boom, bada bing, that's what it is. Duply colour. Um, satin black, there's the part number. You can scan it, whatever you like. Um, I got it from Repco and they did help me out on the price. Retail's about 20, I got it for 12. So decent mark up there. Just wait till they got 30, 40% off if you like, if, or if you're friendly. You might even get it cheaper. If you get a cheaper price than me, let me know in the comments. Hey guys, thanks for watching. See ya. Hey guys, so the wind picked up a little bit, um, so I've moved around the corner, still a bit breezy, but I'd rather do it outside than fume the whole place out and get overspray and everything. Um, lucky you got to it early. Um, it turned, I'm going to give you some factors with this, so I've just, I've finished two cans just about, just gave the inside a quick spray, kind of one or two coats ish, I'm not fussed about it, you know, good enough kind of thing, right, so that's in there. Um, I sat, purposely sat, see the rocks here. I sat one of the wheels on the rocks, see the edge? Look, I don't know if it's because it's a thin coat or what, but it appears maybe it's going to scratch off really easy. Not too sure how this is going to go, but I'd rather just show you exactly how it is. Because it looked good, but I don't know. Let's see, we'll give it a test and I'll come back to you. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and we'll give you the feedback on how well this worked out or not. As I said, the good news is we can um, just do touch-ups and stuff on the vehicle or on the wheels anyway. That's the good part about it. But Obviously, you don't want to use it if it's going to... I don't know if I'm giving the wheels a scrub or hit them with a pressure washer, like that plastic dip waste of time. If it's anything like that, I'll say waste of time, don't do this. So that's what we've done at the moment. Let's see how it goes.